The concept of a star tracker probably can be traced back to the early sailors who used to navigate the open seas. The concept is they use star field patterns in order to tell them where they're pointed while they're sailing from east to west or north to south or whichever direction they're going. The star tracker is a lot more complicated in that it uses the entire star field pattern to, to provide attitude knowledge or in a layman's term, a, more of a, the direction in which the spacecraft is pointing while it's orbiting the Earth or doing whatever its science mission requires it to do. So essentially it's an optical device that acts as the eyes of the spacecraft. The Star Tracker is built for the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter and the Solar Dynamics Observatory. Both NASA missions were built in Florence, Italy by Galileo Avionica. They write their own software used to operate the Star Trackers, ground all of their optics, fabricate the structures, and assemble and test the electronics. Once the Star Trackers are assembled, Galileo Avionica works with NASA engineers in order to ensure that the Star Trackers are built to achieve their performance requirements as well as their environmental requirements. The LRO and SDO missions both use two star trackers for redundancy so that if you get a failure in one, the second star tracker will be used as the backup. Also, the use of two star trackers provided added or increased performance accuracy so that the spacecraft will have a more accurate knowledge of where it's pointed while it's orbiting either the moon, the earth, or the sun. NASA is, a, is an educational extension of the government. Um, through all the information we get from all our various missions, we learn things about our earth, space, how space affects earth, our changing environment. All of these things are important to everyone in the world, whether we know it or not. And the importance of Star Trekkers is they act as the eyes of the satellite to let the satellite know where it's going in order to get us that information we need.